it's uh, art without this one. Uh, <laughs> but I have uh, also a little short presentation of myself. Um, my English is not so very good, so uh, I wrote it all down. Even the jokes. <laughs> so uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, there's a little bit of uh, room for improvisation. Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, I shall introduce myself shortly. My name is uh, Maurice Levy, and I'm working for an Amsterdam based PR firm. And I will give a short presentation about the relationship between uh, bloggers and PR firms. Until not so long ago, uh, PR agencies were mainly with traditional media, uh, like newspapers, magazines, radio, and television. Also, they work with traditional influentials, so actors, musicians, athletes, and politicians. As a result of the rise of the internet, uh, a new type of influentials emerged. We already discussed the, the, the topic, the bloggers, of course. Um, and actually, there are hundreds of millions of blogs out there, and most of them are dead because the owners stopped putting energy in. Um, nevertheless, all over the globe, that's the, the, the good thing about uh, the bloggers, and, uh, all over the globe, unknown individuals, amateurs and professionals alike, uh, can open their own private portal to the world and fill it with their own content. They share their opinions, ideas, and vision through writings, photos, and videos. And in every field of society, bloggers are active. But one of the most important uh, branches where bloggers operate is fashion. These days, some fashion bloggers belong to the key influentials in the fashion industry. And for PR firms, a good relationship with these bloggers is crucial. A blogger can potentially be, and that's a very big difference in traditional media can potentially be a 24-7 newspaper and television channel at the same time. Good and bad reviews, especially bad reviews of shows and collections can be posted at any time. News travels fast, but even faster online. And what happens online often rapidly gets offline. So the traditional news cycle is gone forever and bloggers can be the source of all kinds of buzz. And in order to, cre to create some form of control, of the online media coverage. Uh, elite fashion bloggers uh, are given front row seats at the fashion shows. They're invited to parties and openings all the time. They're provided with new prototypes, clothing, shoes, um, gadgets, perfumes, the real line maker in fashion, and accessories. And all that by PR companies and brands. In the United States, Oh, yeah, and of course, uh, in the day, these uh, bloggers are friends themselves now, so that's what I've already uh, uh, mentioned. In the United States, a blogger like Brian Boy is treated like a pop star and is also acting like one. In Holland, we have a blogger, uh, Nolan, who is uh, a multimillionaire now. For a PR agency, the strength of bloggers lies in their credibility and in their following, just like the traditional media. But there also lies the problem, because how credible is a blogger when he writes? about a pair of new shoes, but also places an advertisement of the shoe brand on his blog. How underground, independent, and sincere can a blogger be when he becomes mainstream, a household name, let's say traditional on its own. Especially in fashion, a fast-paced industry where everybody is constantly looking for the next best thing and something new, it is a question whether the stars of today will be the stars of tomorrow. Don't forget that Vogue was founded in the 19th century, but some fashion bloggers are not even adult yet. This is just something time will tell. Um, and then the following. Of course, uh, very important for PR, because um, agency needs to make uh, the value of the publication measurable towards its clients. In traditional media, we know that Volkswagen magazine is uh, read by almost a million readers each weekend. But what do we really know about the following of Dutch fashion bloggers like the Digitalistas, Miss Jacob, Style, and After Dark? How many readers do they have? How many unique visitors? And also important, who are these readers? Are they 16 year old girls or the moms of these girls? Uh, most bloggers keep this information secret. It's very important to mention because uh, it's not a transparent uh, system. But a lot of bloggers also claim to have a bigger follow, uh, following than they actually have. So uh, it's very important for us as a PR firm to know 
how many visitors do we they really have? That's, we have to explain it. Um, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Not ready? <clears throat> for, uh, for now, most PR firms uh, and digital media who pick these bloggers up as bloggers at the moment or filter them as editors uh, consider them as influential. That's a sort of a strange, uh, a strange uh, um, uh, it, uh, connotation because what is influential? The fact that the PR firms and the magazines consider them as influential also makes them influential. There's a thin line between the phenomenon and the self made prophecy. And there's another interesting thing going on. The group of bloggers is growing rapidly. Fans of fashion bloggers, uh, I mean, we've also already mentioned that fashion bloggers are, in fact, almost all the time women or gay men. There are only a couple of heterosexual uh, men. Uh, activists of bloggers, fashion bloggers. Fans of fashion bloggers start blogging themselves. Every day there is a new fashion blog, trying to become their idols. And some of these new bloggers, who started their blogs only a couple of weeks ago, even sent emails to the PR firms, three headsets, uh, with requests for invitations to uh, fashion shows. So blogging is a lifestyle with the appeal of professional soccer. They probably don't realize, and that's the, 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 yeah, the, the, the value of this book, I think, um, because th there you see what it takes to, to uh, start a blog and also um, to take care of the blog. The, the fans of the fashion bloggers who start their own blogs themselves, they don't realize that it took their idols a lot of time, effort, and energy because yeah, they updated their blogs every day, sometimes a couple of times a day, and only by, by means of all that time and energy and originality and vision, they uh, get. Uh, that's the position they have nowadays. Although most times a PR firm doesn't have insight into the statistics behind the blog, what an agency can see is the duration and the development of the blog and the reaction of the readers. Uh, and also the amount of followers and Twitter, uh, on, <coughs> the amount of followers on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, I would say in other words, a PR firm wants to know that a blog is alive and only then um, it is taken seriously. So uh, this was a presentation, so I hope uh, thank you very much.